welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you a haul of some stuff that I've made in lockdown. I hope you enjoy and find this inspirational. Everything that I sewed was so easy. You do not need a sewing machine. I didn't even use my sewing machine. I did it all by hand whilst watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on my socials which will be linked and subscribe down below. The first thing I'm gonna show you, I fixed a bleach stain. I bought this cream cardigan from a charity shop cropped it and then wore it to a hairdressing appointment and they bleached so much of the back but I was so embarrassed to say anything that I just left and have not worn it for like over a year and so I decided to buy some Dylon chocolate brown a fabric dye and see if it got rid of the bleach and it did it absolutely killed it it looks insane now and I think it looks so much nicer than before I think I'm gonna have to change the buttons as they're a little bit interesting now um, but I think this is so nice so like 90s and cute and I'm just absolutely in love with it if you have clothes that have a bleach stain I definitely recommend giving this a go Dylon killed it I think their dyes are fab <laughs> And in with this in the washing machine, I threw in some white fabric uh, just to give myself something else to play with. I've got no idea what I'm going to do with this. Uh, maybe I'll turn into like a bustier, realisation par sort of style top. That would be kind of cute. I don't know, we'll see. Keep posted for a part two as I'd love to do some more like ambitious pieces uh, with this and stuff. So we shall see. And the last thing that I threw in with the wash was this white miffy top. I love it, but I don't wear it. So I was like, fuck it. Let's just see if I like it in brown. And I think it looks so good in brown. And as it's sewn with elastic, which doesn't catch dye, it's made a really nice um, contrast stitch around the whole top. I just love it so much. And I'm so happy that I finally got round to doing this brown dye. Also on the dye front, I tried to do some tie dye in the most like effort free way. I made a bandana out of some old fabric and cut long straps so it could be a boob tube. Then I found some old tie dye that's like five years old and it's already pre-mixed. And I tied up the top using hair bands, not rubber bands, splashed it on, left it for a bit, then washed it out. So it hasn't turned out that good. It's not that bad. It's just not that cute. Um, but I thought I'd show it anyway. To be fair, the camera's making it look kind of cute. Also in lockdown, I finally got into some iron-on diamantes. You can get these on eBay in all different um, like prints and stuff. I still have this gold crown, this pink uh, England flag, and then this <laughs> Half destroyed butterfly. I just managed to um, rip some of the gems off, which is pretty great. And I got hold of some kids' vests, so they were like really tight. And on this black one, I ironed on this one. I feel like this is such a classic 90s top. I see this everywhere. And ironing them on is so easy as well. And on this grey one, I did these cowboy boots, which look insane. How cool. Maybe not everyone's a cup of tea, but. I'm in love. I think they look so cute and I can't wait to do um, these ones as well. Definitely recommend looking into these on eBay. You can get so many uh, funny little designs and I think oh, it just looks so good. Mm. I'll link these tops as well because they're just the perfect shape. Next in the haul is a piece that I talked about DIYing in my last haul. I finished it off. If you know what I'm talking about, then here is the finished product. I had this Brandy Melville top that I never wore and it has like a lettuce trim and elastic um, lining. So I used that around the whole of the top and I think it looks really, really sweet. The only thing that I don't like about this is that I cropped the top before I sewed everything on, which I regret as now it just looks really like boxy and short. Wish I didn't do that. But I still think it looks kind of cute and it definitely achieved the vision that I had in mind and I think it will look so gorgeous with like a white skirt, flowy hair. Really 
think. I don't even know this is open. I'm going to close that. Um, the next piece I'm going to show you is a skirt that I hemmed. I saw this like pink and red um, skirt from Urban and I absolutely fell in love. And of course it's Urban so it was like 60 quid so I could not justify spending that amount of money on a like flimsy little skirt. Then about a year later I was in a different Urban in their sale section and they had one in a size large for 12 pounds so of course i bought it hemmed in the sides no issue it was kind of cute but i just didn't wear it so i decided to turn it into a mini skirt so i tried it on and worked out where i wanted to cut it to cut it straight and then made a slit in the side i think it's a little bit too short for like an everyday skirt so i might use the leftover fabric and make like a panel at the bottom to give it some extra length but it's really cute, I don't really have any skirt like this, a very like typical 90s slip skirt, very nice. Next is another piece that I sort of hemmed, I had this long sleeve black and white striped top that I cropped and I cropped it so short it was so unwearable and I decided to make it into a tight crop top so that wouldn't be kind of an issue. I tried it on, I worked out how um, tight I should do it, pinned it down the sides, tightened them up um, and that was pretty much it. The bottom rolled up naturally which I really like that look even though it's not even like the back is definitely longer than the front um, I still think it looks kind of cute and then I thought it would make sense to like add a piping on the sleeves that would match the collar but to be honest because I obviously did it so badly I think it just looks really bulky and like weird and I don't think it looks that good so I might just unpick it and leave it plain I don't know I also cut it at a slight angle and I think that's such a flattering um, fit on the shoulders and I don't really have anything like this in my wardrobe I also had a thought that this might look kind of okay on the front. I don't know if that's just me, and I don't know if it would ruin it. But let me know what you think. The next piece I'm going to show you, I absolutely love. I have this white turtleneck that I've never worn because it's so see-through and it looks so bad with like a bra underneath. So I decided to cover up that issue by sewing on a fabric star on the front. I feel like we've been seeing like stars on top so much at the moment. I've been seeing it all over my Pinterest and I love it. I looked up how to draw a star on YouTube and then cut it out on cardboard and use that to make two stars out of two different types of white fabric, one bigger than the other and just sewed them on. And I like how it's not too bold but it perfectly covers up my nipples and I think it's perfect. I absolutely love this, I think it's so 90s yet quite unique, like I haven't seen um, a star top in this sort of shade before. Um, and this was really really easy to do and it was a great way to use up like spare fabric that I had as well. Love this. <laughs> This next piece in the haul was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest. I love this like asymmetrical cut one sleeve um, crop top and I have loads of fabric left from old projects that aren't big enough to make into their own piece so this was perfect for using up that. The yellow fabric was the biggest so I put that as the top piece and then the green and then the white and then the purple and I sewed on this back piece, tried it on, worked out how much I needed, cut it off and then I found this old zip from a pair of jeans I didn't wear. This is definitely not the most neat job that I've ever done, but I don't really care. I'm so surprised this turned out so nice. I love this so much. And placing the fabric asymmetrical is such a good way to not have to measure your things. If you want something quick and easy, no one cares if it's not gonna be straight. So win-win for me. And then when I was done with it, I tried it on and worked out which bits needed tailoring in. So I did this like bit on the side especially, which helped pull it in. And I definitely recommend doing this with different fabrics that you have laying around. It's nice to like have four different colours going on. Um, just add something else to your wardrobe. For the next piece, I transformed an old um, graphic tee. I placed a cami top that fit me well over the graphic tee as a trace and then hemmed all the sides in. And then I thought I'd play with a ruching technique that we're seeing everywhere at the moment. 
Um, again, not my most neat work, like this is not sellable, but and doing this on the sides has made the top so flattering as you can pull it up and it just looks so good. I really, really like this. And if you have any old graphic tees that you don't wear but you like the print on the front, then I definitely recommend doing this. Um, I absolutely love it. Last thing I'm going to show you is a bit of a um, interesting one. I had in my head that I wanted to make like a white denim panelled corset style top and I came up with this but I just took this old white denim skirt that I never wore, cut it into strips and then made like a panel and worked out how much left I needed. Like I still have um, the pen marks on the front. I sewed an old zip on the back and I made these really long straps and used the skirt buttons to fasten them onto the back but it's definitely not complete I still have a couple um, bits that I need to sew like this bit down here and the straps aren't the best length at the moment but there's something I really like about this and I feel like with some white suit trousers for a full white look it will actually look quite cool but this was a fun experiment to do and to use up this skirt that I was never wearing but yeah it's an interesting one subscribe down below to get notified when I post and thank you so much for all the amazing comments that I get on all my videos it means the world to me and we have just reached 1k which is amazing so thank you for all the support and I will see you in my next video thank you guys so much for watching I want to do a QA and a soon so if you have any questions for me leave them down below in the comment section or DM me them on Instagram Thank you.